everyone, it's Arif here from on Microsoft and today I just want to showcase the Android apps running in Windows 11 via the Amazon App Store. Now, to get the window, the Android apps running in Windows 11, you need to be a Windows Insider with a PC enrolled in the beta channel and that PC must meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11. You also need to have a US based Amazon account to use the Amazon App Store. Uh, your PC's region must be set to the US and you must be running the most recent version of the Microsoft Store and have virtualization enabled in your PC's BIOS and UEFI and uh, be running the most recent Windows 11 beta channel build. It was a bit of a struggle to get this running because the uh, App Store was showing that my PC was incompatible that and it wasn't working but got it up and running and to get it going once you meet those requirements, just head to the Microsoft Store Windows 11, make sure you're up and running with the most recent version, and then search for Amazon App Store in the Microsoft Store in Windows 11, click the top result, and then click install. And after you click install, uh, you'll be run through a little setup wizard that will install the Windows subsystem for Android in the background. And once that's up and running, you'll see that it is listed in your start menu here. So you could click Amazon App Store. And once you click Amazon App Store, it will start up the Windows system subsystem for Android in the background. And give it a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on the speed of your PC. And you'll be launched into the App Store. Now, right now, the App Store is a bit bare. Only around 50 or so apps are certified to work in Windows 11, but you could uh, drag around the window anywhere you please. You could use Snap Assist and snap it to the side of the screen. It's pretty much like a native Windows app, the way it looks and the way it feels. But uh, we'll just show you here that there are a few apps that you could try out right now. Most of these apps are games, like uh, kids games and uh, Subway Surfers, Hungry Shark Evolution some of these fun quirky games that people play on Amazon tablets. Uh, the big name apps like Outlook and Teams and other Minecraft even, they're not here right now. If you search for them, they won't show up. But you could uh, try out regular apps like the Kindle app is here, as well as uh, Subway Surfer here is here as well. Once I already installed these two apps on my PC, but it works as you would expect. You search for it, you click it, and then you click install. And then a little uh, progress bar will appear here and it would install. And then to get to the app, it's native, just like any other Windows app is. Just go to your start menu and it should show up right here in the bottom under the recommended section or in your list of apps, uh, in the list of all of your apps here in the start menu. You could notice here that the Amazon App Store is now listed there as well as the Kindle app that I installed through the Amazon App Store, as well as uh, Subway Surfers. But anyway, uh, let's just show you what an Android app looks like in Windows 11. And I will begin by opening up the Kindle app. You see that apps are pretty quick to launch here. This is a book that I was just reading. But you could see here that you uh, it's fully resizable. You could drag the window around, like I said earlier, and it's not stuck to one size. At least this app is, but as you'll see, I'll get into next, some games are letter barred. But here I am, I could read this book and go between the pages, just like I would on any other any other uh, Android device. Feels pretty smooth to me. There's there's a lot, a lot of cool, a lot of cool controls. Feels very smooth. And it's like I'm using an Android device here, and it's not freezing. Everything seems to be pretty fluent with this. And you could also snap it to the side of the screen as I showed earlier. And you have full access to all of your books that you might have tied to your Amazon account. But uh, minimizing that, you could also close apps just as you would normally and it would close them in the background. I had two apps, I had this and the App Store running and seems pretty smooth, but just wanna note that the uh, Windows subsystem for Android is a bit heavy on resources. If I check here in the task manager, you could see that it's running and it's using over two gigabits, two gigabits of around two gigabits or 1.6 gigabits of RAM, 1.626 megabytes. That's 1.26 gigabytes. And the process will show up as VM, MEM, WSA. That's how you know that it's running there. And you also see it here under uh, subcategory 
with the any listed apps that are running. But it seems pretty smooth as long as you have a system that's fully spec'd out or that's uh, decently spec'd uh, with at least eight, vi eight gigabytes of RAM, Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, you should be pretty fine. But now let's open a game here with uh, Subway Surf. And you see that the game starts in this compact mode like this. But you could also maximize it and you'll get the letter bars on the side, which is expected because obviously this is made for a for a Android phone or Android tablet, but you could make it bigger if you want to. And as we're loading it up here, you can see that the performance is pretty surprising. As I'm playing here, I'm swiping around. It's uh, not freezing, it's not lagging, and it's properly picking up my inputs. And it pretty much feels like I'm playing a Windows game here, which is really surprising considering that the whole thing is running under emulation and in a virtual machine in the background of Windows. Even moving around and resizing the window while playing, it doesn't make it freeze or it doesn't make it lock up or anything. It's, it's pretty much a fluent experience all the way around when playing uh, Android games in Windows 11 through the Windows subsystem for Android. But again, keep in mind that this is a lightweight game. This isn't one of those heavy games like Android and your experience might uh, vary based off of what type of system you have and the specs on the system that you have. The game just ended here for me, but I just want to point out that you're not limited to running one game or one app at a time. You could multitask here. So if I go ahead and I install this Peppa Pig game and let it install in the background and ins run it from the uh, start menu here, you could see that I could run this Peppa Pig game as well as this Subway Surfers game two together at once. And the performance, again, is pretty surprising and pretty fluent considering that the whole thing is powered by a virtual machine in the background and in the Windows subsystem for Android. And here we go again. We have three different Android apps running in Windows 11 at the same time. We have Subway Surfers, we have Peppa Pig, and then we also have the Amazon App Store itself. So overall, this is a pretty impressive experience and look forward to testing it more and sideloading some more apps. And But that's all for now, and we hope to see you again soon. Same place, same time, and thanks for watching, everyone.